Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Eileen and this is Red Hot and Flashy. And Happy New Year almost. I figured I would come on today and give you a quick uh, tutorial for a New Year's Eve kind of look. Even though we're not celebrating New Year's uh, Eve the way we normally do, I thought it would be fun to at least somewhat dress up. I'm going to be using my At Forest site uh, eyeshadow palette. It is the Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop palette, and I did a um, I did an unboxing and I did a review on it. Um, I did a look and a review on it. So I'll I'll um, I'll post a card up here. You could click on and watch them if you'd like. So I'm going to start out by priming my eyes with my NARS Paint Pot, and it is the shade Light Vanilla. I believe it's Light Vanilla. Light 2 Vanilla. And I start out just by painting it on and then I take the smaller sponge. I feel like it gives it a, uh, a smoother base when you tap it out with the sponge. And today I'm going to just do the one eye just to show you and then I'll go off camera and finish the look. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with um, old, old Growth, which is right here. And I'm just going to uh, set my base with it because, oh, maybe not. This is dark. Well, we're going to use that anyway. The only reason I set my base, and you don't have to, but I set it because I have mature skin and... I don't want everything to settle in the lines, so. But you can use a translucent powder, you can use an eyeshadow, you can use whatever you want. Then I'm gonna go in with Chanterelle, which is this yellow, like a burnt yellow. And I'm gonna go over my entire eyelid with it. Not all the way up to my brow bone, just my eyelid and my crease. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna go in my crease with Rainier, which is right there. And I'm just gonna go in my crease and because of my hooded eyes, I start out just a little bit. Look at how nicely pigmented that is. And I'm also gonna bring that into the corner as well. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush a nice clean fluffy brush and with that chanterelle I'm just gonna blend everything out with that chanterelle color and as you know if you have hooded eyes you can't really put any highlight up here because it makes it come out at least if you have um, severely hooded eyes like I do so I'm gonna go in with old growth and just um, put it up on the brow bone. So now I wanted to try something new. I got this in my boxy charm a while ago. It's from Stila and I really hadn't had an occasion to wear it. It is the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow from Stila and it is in the color Rose Gold Retro. And I'll show you what that looks like here. And it's just, um, I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. It's just to give it some glitter. You gotta be careful too. Um, you could put it on the bottom right here along your lash bed and then look up. So this way you could see where it transfers and then put it there. Almost like you're cutting your crease and it's just gonna give it some glitter for New Year's. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that um, Rainier. Whoops, the sun's coming out. Here, the Rainier, that burnt orange color. And I'm gonna just go and redefine the um, crease with it. And then blend it in in the corner. 
Now, I'm particularly not liking the dark on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my base. I know it would probably be easier to just wipe the whole darn thing off. But I'm gonna do this just to lighten it up a little bit because I, I don't like it so dark. And then I'm going to go back in with that chanterelle, which was that yellow color, the mustard color right there. And I'm going to, with a clean brush this time, to make sure there's no other transfer. Just so I could lighten it up. I didn't like it so dark. And just blend that in. See, it's a little lighter now. And you might have to go over with the Rainier again, just so that you can blend it out. So it doesn't look so harsh because we use the, um, we use the NYX, uh, not the NYX, the NARS base. So I'm going back in with that Rainier just to redefine it. Okay. There you go. So the last step on the eyes, I'm going to take the Campfire Super Shock Shadow, which was part of the collection, the, the uh, Royal Beauty Christie collection. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take some on my finger and just place it again on where we put that glitter, just to give it a little more shine. Not that it wasn't shiny enough. And then what I like to do sometimes is just take it up a little bit into the crease, just the super shock shadow, not anything else, just to give it a little glitter there. I don't know if you could actually see, oh, the sun. Can you see that? It's just a little glitter, a little sparkle on the eye, over and above the glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off, off camera now and do the other eye and and my face, and I will be right back to finish off the look. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I will, um, you know, I did my face, blush, bronzer, you know, all that good stuff, and I will list everything that I used in the description below. So now we are going to finish off the eyes. We are going to go back in with our forest, at forest site, and with a bullet, bullet brush, yeah. <laughs> My mind went blank for a second. That's what it looks like. We're gonna take the bullet brush with old growth first. And we're just gonna start a line down here. And I bring it like about three quarters of the way. Like that, and connect it to the top. And this will just give you a guide. And then I'm going to use Rainier and bring that underneath as well. Okay, then we're going to take a small fluffy brush like this here. And with that chanterelle, that yellow color, the mustard color, we're going to blend it out. Now I'm going to take the uh, Marigold, which also is part of the collection, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. Okay, now instead of using eyeliner, I'm going to line the top of my lid with eyeshadow. I'm gonna take an angled brush like this, and I'm going to spray it with setting spray because it helps um, to keep the eyeshadow in place. Now you don't have to soak it and you don't have to keep doing it. You just do it the one time. And I'm gonna use puff ball right here, this light brown. Let's put that on your... Now, not everybody can just draw a line. Me. So I like to just stamp it as I go, almost like a, you know, until it all meets at the end. So let me see.
I don't know if you, oh, oh, it looks so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but there is, I just, I just did a, um, a thin line, not a super thin line, but a thin line. So now, if you've been watching me, you know that I like to tight line my upper water line because it just gives my eyes more depth because I have very tiny eyelashes and they're red. So it just helps to darken them up. I think instead of using black, I'm gonna use the brown that came with the collection. And it's really easy to do. Oh, don't poke yourself in the eye. That's easy to do too. And now you can take your favorite mascara and I'm going to be using the Roller Lash by Benefit today. Okay, I am going to go back off camera and I'm going to put on some lashes and a nice lipstick and do my hair and I will show you the final look. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. You see, I added some jewelry, which I got for my BoxyCharm. You can check it out up here. <laughs> and some lipstick. I added some highlighter. I don't know that I'm very good at that some eyelashes and that's it it's actually a quick and easy glam type of look for your new year's celebration let's just say that we hope and pray that 2021 is so much better than 2020 was for everyone I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. I hope you try and recreate it. And if you do, let me know. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Red Hot and Flashy and post it there and tag me so that I can see it. I would really love to see that. And if you like my video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hopefully you can catch me on all of them, but if not, maybe one or two or 10. And don't forget to leave me comments. You all know if you've been following me, I love to read them. Okay, happy new year, everybody. Until next time, bye. <laughs>